and welcome to Deku Tarot. My name is Helen. I'm going to be doing your pick a card love reading. Um, so it's going to be number between one and six. So pick a number between one and six, whichever one resonates the most with you. Um, after you ask your question, of course. So ask your question while I shuffle the cards or focus it on whoever, you know, you want to know how they feel about you. So focus on that person. Um, associate the question and the person with one of the numbers, whichever one feels most right and um, see how it plays out. We can see how they feel about you. If this doesn't resonate with you, throw it out, forget about it, move on. Um, and if it does, let me know below. I'm excited. Um, so here we go. And just meditate on your question and the person um, while I shuffle these cards, okay? Thank you to all my subscribers. Thank you. To everyone who comments, um, whoever shares, views, likes, I appreciate all of it. Comment below. I would love to see how it resonated with you guys and which numbers you chose. It's always fun. Um, so let's see. I'm going to try to do this one a little bit shorter than last time. Okay. So I'm going to do one, a mini shuffle, then two. And then, you know, so on and so forth. One. One. Actually, let's start it off with one. That that's an easier way to focus on just one of them instead of trying to get all six cards at once. <laughs> one. All right, we're ready. Nine of Pentacles. Wow, they think you're the perfect person, number one. So here we go. Number one, is that... I'm, sorry, I'm just going to be writing down the time so I can timestamp this for you guys. Um, all right. Wow, that's incredible. So I'm going to leave this here so you guys can kind of see it. Where's the best spot? Like there. Um, I'll just hold it up for now and you can put it back down. But the Queen of, um, no, let's call her the Queen of Pentacles, but she is a lot like the Queen of Pentacles. She is the Nine of Pentacles. She's almost there. It's looking and feeling exactly how you want to and if it's just out of context. But here, this is how they feel about you. They see you as this perfect girl. They see you as the perfect mate. So number one, they like you. They have feelings for you. They see you as the perfect mate. Perfect girl, perfect guy, um, person. They want to be with you. You're like, you've got it all to them. They're like, wow. They know how to make money. They know how to keep their money. Um, you know, they know how to dress themselves and take care of their bodies. They look beautiful all the time. They think that you look amazing. And they think that you have the perfect life for them. You're just a perfect mate. You just look, you know perfect to them so that's incredible for one wow i'll go into it a little bit for you guys so let's see i'm gonna pull three clarifiers for each of the numbers just three though unless it's too crazy so we don't get this too too long you know all right two of wands they've been thinking about you wow they've been watching you and thinking about you for a while so however this is really has been thinking on you has been feeling um feeling really great about you they've been watching you they've been probably watching you on social media and stuff choices it's a decision so they might be choosing between you and somebody else and they might be choosing to either they've been watching you for else so they're kind of choosing do i go for it do i not go for it and guess what Ace of Cups reversed here. So there was a choice. I'm going to actually have to pull more than three on this. I know I said I wasn't going to, but like... This feels positive. So maybe they're afraid to get hurt. It seems like they're afraid to move forward in this because they're afraid to get hurt. The Two of Swords, the Ace of Cups here reversed. That's crying about it, you know. Past hurts. They're thinking about that. They're afraid to make that choice. They're afraid to leap forward towards you because they are so afraid of getting hurt. They're like they think that they think so highly of you. They think you're just gonna like rip them to shreds, break or, break their hearts. 
They're like afraid to like really go for it, honestly. But look, new journeys. So you know what? It's going to start. It does seem like they're afraid to move forward. And so, no, so you know, like I'm feeling like maybe give them a little bit of like a push on it. You know, kind of like do something cute and fun or whatever, you know, kind of like let them know that you're interested and you can start this as a new journey with this person. So yes, there is past hurts or like they've chosen, they might have hurt you in the past or I just feel like they're afraid to get hurt honestly because it seems like this to me is just like I really get the feeling of they're watching you. Like they've been watching you for a while. They look at you in social media. They see you as this beautiful, um, perfect person. And they're too afraid to move forward because of, I'm sorry, I'm just going to move this instead of holding it weirdly in my lap. But this is, oof, reversed. <laughs> this is not making the choice because you're afraid of, you're afraid of rejection. They're so afraid of getting hurt. It's like the energy is there for it to be absolutely opposite. Like this is going to be like such a great love. Your cup is overflowing. But they're so afraid of this happening. So let them know that this isn't going to happen if you're interested, okay? And if that's what you want with the person because this is a new adventure. It's like, you're just starting out. It could go anywhere. I'm not going to tell you exactly where it's going to go. You can um, actually ask me for a personal reading on that because everyone's going to be different and it's kind of your choice, like, how the relationship goes. But this is the potential for a start of a new relationship. This is beginning a new um, journey with somebody, starting to date somebody. So you know what? You can start dating them and all you really got to do is just let them know that you're interested. So number one, beautiful card, beautiful. Guys uh, have the potential right there. Just give them a little, like, nudge, you know? Is what I would say. Either that, or it seems like they might do it on their own, anyways, without you know fear. So congratulations. Actually, I'll pull. I'm just gonna pull one of these for each one here. So, wait. This is my gypsy witch card to kind of sum up a little message with it. So, number one. What do we get? What do we get? Oof, this one feels it. it feels hot. The eye when near denotes great interest taken by friends. So, ooh. When distant, it signifies suspicion. So yes, they're really interested in you, but yet they're also suspicious that you might hurt them. So if you want to be with this person, whoever um, you were thinking about when you were asking, number one, let them know that you're interested. Um, they're really interested in you, and you know they're suspicious that you might hurt them, though, at the same time. So there's another side to that coin. Let them know that they don't need to be suspicious of you if you don't plan on hurting on them. Hurting them. Hurting on them. What am I saying? That sounds like they're gonna beat, you're going to beat them. Don't do that. All right, so, all right, timing for number two. Number two. I will not be a child about it. All right, number two here. How do they feel about you? Let's mix these bad layers up. Trying to make it go faster because this they're a little bit bent. So number two, number two. Okay, this one, I'm gonna I'm gonna cut it actually. Sorry. Let's see, wow. Eight of Wands, communication. You guys are texting. They're interested. There's great interest taken there. Interest enough that you guys are talking. They're, if you're wondering whether this person's going to contact you, number two, um, this person is. This person's going to contact you. Hmm. Six of Cups reversed as a clarifier. You know, actually, I'm going to shake it up before I clarify. That's what I did before. That's what I should do right now. I just got carried away there. Sorry about that, guys. If that shows up again... I will take note of it, but I wasn't even thinking when I pulled that. <laughs> and we get the King of Swords. Um, actually, hold on one second, guys. I'm just gonna like make sure my audio is okay. All right, so that was frustrating. That just like totally cut out there. <laughs> um, okay, so King of Swords. God. It's a 
clarifier for this Eight of Wands. Judgment reverse. And death. Oof. Oh boy. Oh boy, guys. I don't know about this. I thought it would be like communication, but it does. I mean, if you were hoping to hear back from somebody, you're going to get the communication. But unfortunately, guys, I'm going to have to say that this person is kind of, it's probably an air sign. If you're going after an air sign that's a male, um, well, there's the communication. And this is the card first after it, so I'm going to hold these up. Um, he's kind of cold calculating. It kind of might, might seem like he might come off cold. And it's not saying that like he's a bad person or he isn't loving. But in this case, with judgment reverse and death, it does seem like the changes, if this is you're already in a relationship um, or you're trying to be one, the changes that you want in the life like that you want with them is not going to happen. This, these changes aren't going to happen, I'm sorry. Or, you know, it's just not, it's just blocked for some reason. It seems like he is blocking it. He's decisively being like, I don't want this. And he might be ending it. So you might get communication that they don't want to be with you and that it's over. So I'm really, really sorry, guys, if this is... We will, if this is what's going on, I don't like to give negative ones, but it does seem like, you know, it seems like there has been a problem with, like, yes, this, there is a, there's an air sign involved, um, whether it be male, female, whatever, but judgment reverse is kind of like, It's, the, it's not changing. It's, it needs to, you guys need to change. Something needs to be changed. There needs to be a renewal. There needs to be a huge change in the relationship and a reawakening, and it's not happening. It's They're just like, I'm not going to have it. I mean, it could be that this is going to totally renew, this death card here. Um, but... That. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna pull actually a little bit of a clarifier because that's like that's some serious. I want to see if the death is positive or negative. It does feel like it's the end, though. It feels like it's the end of a relationship with this person. They've decided it's over. I don't know. There's also happiness at the other end of it, though. A new beginning. So maybe you're having a new beginning with this person. It could be that maybe they didn't want to change in the past. I'm glad I just pulled those because that makes. At least it's more positive. I'm not just being like, it's over. <laughs> but, so yes, yeah, so you get the King of Swords as a clarity. This is the Eight of Wands for number two. Um, communication. So it's communication um, with the King of Swords about, you know, maybe a lack of change or like, you know, things they're not happy with a change. Or maybe you're not happy with a change. You're communicating it to them. But it does seem like they're the ones communicating something to you about this judgment card, about this period of intense change about figuring out who they are so maybe they're going through a lot and it hasn't been ideal maybe they've been really cold and they're like this period is over though this is over this or maybe you're like this is going to be over if we don't it's either gonna it's like it's gonna stay or go but we have to decide what to do here and this person's like okay so maybe I, it's time for me to like to stop resisting the change and start letting it happen so whatever they've been resisting whatever this judgment is that they've been resisting they're finally like putting an end to it or maybe you're the one that was resi resisting it and they're putting an end to it like this nothing has changed things are kind of a mess maybe you're not committing to them or maybe something is wrong in your relationship there's been they've been negative they've been hurtful things have been bad and you're finally like if you're the air sign you're like i'm not doing this anymore like maybe they're the ones that are coming to you and they're <coughs> like you've been kind of crazed lately their things have not been good and i want this to end or else the relationship is over and right here is the renewal. And I know that that's renewal because we get, like, it's the ending of one thing and it's the beginning of another. And the beginning of it is, oh, not the beginning, but, um, yes, the beginning. What am I saying? So, <laughs> I'm a mess today, guys. I'm sorry. Uh, it's just really hot. And it's like, oh, I'm just dying right now. Um, but there's the Four of Wands. That's twin flames right there that's a sign for twin flames it's a new start it's also reaching the finish line and happiness with this person so that's really really beautiful guys if that's the case um it's a new start this is fire under it it's going to start moving forward towards this you know you're, you're getting a fresh start with this person new energy um so whatever the past was you're it's ending whatever that whatever didn't want to have whatever you didn't think was going to happen or that wasn't changing it's changing it's totally changing it's ending and now you guys have 
a new start that's taking you to this twin flames happiness love maybe even weddings for some of you it could be that this person is proposing so maybe they weren't committed or maybe you're the one proposing anyways beautiful for number two Alrighty, and now we are going to go on to number three. All right. Three, how do they feel about you? All right. Knight of Swords reversed. Page of Pen Knight of Pentacles reversed, sorry. King of Wands. I'm sorry. Oh my gosh. I did the same thing that I did before. I'm sorry. I was just I keep doing the thing where I get on a path and I just so Knight of Swords, let's clarify him before I just go, woo. Right, it's so like, oh, suddenly I felt like the cards were like, what are you doing? <laughs> so, Knight of Swords. I'm sorry, guys. It's so hot. I feel like I'm brain dead. I need to drink some water. <laughs> it must be like 99% humidity today. I'm feeling like dead. All right, let's see. Knight of Swords for The Knight of Cups. Death, again. Ooh. In the Ace of Pentacles. How strange. Alright, so we get the Knight of Swords here. And the Knight of Swords reverse for you guys, number three. It's going to be... Kind of feels like somebody who's really flaky and not reliable it feels like somebody who you've been waiting to come in and like maybe they come and talk to you like maybe they booty call you sometimes it kind of feels like that or like they're the type of person who only wants to talk to you when it's inconvenient or like when it doesn't really mean what you want it to mean you know they're just they're not serious about it and you're kind of serious about these feelings and they're just it kind of feels like they're they're not, it's not moving forward the way you want it to. It's like they're in and out, they're all around, if they're even in and out at all, you know, like, <sighs> into your life, that is. And the moon reverse is kind of like, it's it's like kicking up your fears and anxieties. It's like this person, because of the way that they are, stresses you out. It, like, it makes you anxious, it makes you worry, it makes you feel like there's something wrong with you, it makes you feel like, you know, these are all the fears that are coming out to roost here with the moon card. Um... Get the lobster calling out the dogs. They're all at this moon, which is now upside down. It's it's turning your life upside down. It's like not so much feeling secure and looking in depth at like you know your inner feelings and world. It's kind of like those feelings are coming out, and you're like, I don't know, I don't know about this. I don't know if they like me. I'm feeling stressed. I'm feeling anxious about it. I don't know. Maybe there's something wrong with me. And yet, as you're feeling this, you're also getting a knight of cups. And to me, it seems like this knight of swords person that you were asking about. It's, it feels like it's over with them. It's probably, I feel like it's a Sagittarius 
maybe a Leo, maybe a Aries, but I really do, I'm feeling more Sagittarius for some of you, if that makes sense. But if not, it could just, it could be any sign or somebody that has the tendency to kind of be flaky in relationships, somebody that's not reliable or that fits that bill, you know. Um, but the Knight of Cups right here is a water sign coming in, a Prince Charming coming in. Pro like possibly a water sign, doesn't have to be. Uh, but like a Prince Charming or a Princess Charming coming in. Somebody is coming in with news of like wanting to date you they want to date you they want to be with you they want a relationship with you so this is really really beautiful guys um this person is looking for something with you and they're coming here to ask you out and they might be really really beautiful they might be like take you out like offer like take you to like either your favorite band or favorite restaurant do you think that it's just like so like oh my god i can't believe they would ask me that wow and it's renewal here and i'm going to say that the death card here is absolutely renewal of a of a not renewal but um yeah a brand new relationship. It's the end of one period, so it's the end of this stuff with the fire sign. So here he is on the other side. He is this Knight of Wands energy, whoever this is. And maybe it's the same person. I'm feeling like they're two different people, though. I do feel like this is one person, this is the other. But it could still be that this person decides to step up to the plate and be the Knight of Cups. But I do feel that they are different people, honestly. I feel like you're ending it with that person, and this person coming into your life ends that period of BS, of bullshit with this person. Um, from before, like, r make, giving you the runaround, and now you get the Ace of Pentacles. And the Ace of Pentacles is the offer of a new, of a new abundance, new growth, new love. So this is a growth, a relationship that is growth. This person is giving you, maybe, you might even meet them through work. You might, they might even be able to give you money, give you a job. They have financial security, and they have abundance, abundance of love and growth. So they're offering you this brand new start, this new, wonderful, bountiful start for love. So this is, you could have a home with this person. This person could be somebody that you move in with. Um, you know, somebody that is in there for the long haul. It is pentacles, long term. So you're entering a brand new period in your life, and this person could stick around for a long time. So forget about that other person, guys. All right, number three. That was pretty nice. That was pretty nice. Okay. I'm just going to take that down. Number four, here we go. Ooh. How do they feel about you, number four? I like to wash them in between so it's kind of like a little fresher. I don't like it when certain things keep showing up but they don't make sense, you know. Queen of Swords, number four, decisive, decisions, um, intellectual, they think that you're, I don't know, they're, they're, I, they might seem cold about you, but they're an air sign, they're very, it's probably an Aquarius, a Libra, or a Gemini, with a female energy, I mean, it could be a male, but, let's get clarifiers, before I do it, I almost did the thing again, alright, let's get some clarifiers for the Queen of Swords, let's get clarifiers for the Queen of Swords, because that's, a very cold, decisive energy that she has. She has something that's very much... She's like... They're very much like, I'll be with you, but, you know, I need to decide about it first. I need to think about it for a long time. I'm not sure. Like, they're very tough to make commitments with. <laughs> they're very much like, I don't know, do I really need this relationship? They're all up in their head. Air, like, air signs are very much... It has to be their decision. And... Let's see what they decide. She's very much a balance, so it could be a yes or a no. Could be. All right. 
night. <gasps> the lovers. Holy shit, guys. It's probably a Gemini. Probably a Gemini. And that's beautiful. Wow. Wow. So this is like a soulmate. Twin flame. Moving towards them. Maybe you guys are moving away together. New path. I want this one too. The six of wands. Wow, guys, that's amazing. That's beautiful. You're on the right journey with this person. This person is, you have a path to victory. Two sixes. So you're moving forward. You are moving forward to victory with this person. You guys are moving. You're on a victorious path together. This is, you're on this new path of love with this person, with this air sign. And it's just like kismet. It's absolute kismet, guys. This is. Uh, soulmate, twin flame, very important, a very, very deep connection with you guys. It has two sixes in it. I mean, three sixes, because the lovers is also a six, so this is six, six, six. <laughs> All right. So that's really, really beautiful. I couldn't have asked for a better one for you guys. I mean, like, look at this. Okay, the Queen of Swords, very decisive, clear. She's giving you clarity here. So maybe if you haven't had clarity about this, she's going to be right up front with you or he's going to be right up front with you about it. I mean, it doesn't have to be a female just because the Queen of Swords is there. It doesn't have to be an air sign. But I mean, it, it feels like it, especially if the Gemini card, which is the lovers, comes up. But also, like, damn, guys, that's three sixes in a row. So, yes, the lovers opens up this opportunity to you. And look at them. They're coming together. It's the coming together of two sides, a decision, a fork in the road, a path that is with this person, this air sign, possibly, or whoever this is um, that you were asking about. It's special. This is love. This is love coming into your life. At, like, oh, like butterflies. Like, hot, beautiful, sunny, amazing, passionate, romantic love. Soulmates soulmates three sixes in a row i gotta say this is a soulmate relationship guys you're moving on towards this person you're moving forward on this path with with them you're moving you're leaving the past behind and you're moving forward with this person and it's into victory it's a new path that is to absolute victory you're victorious everything nothing could be going better you know everyone is celebrating it it's absolutely it just feels like celebration so beautiful absolutely beautiful number four and that's really all i want to say for you guys um I don't think I pulled the cards for numbers two and three. Hmm, I might just do the rest of the cards at the end, honestly. No, I'm going to do it, and then I'm going to have to like put them in below. Sorry about that. Numbers two and three. All right, so four. What is your message? What is your message from spirit? So sorry, guys. I got caught up in these, and then this heat, and then I just forgot to see. All right, 10. The sight presages disappointment and when near the coffin, it really death. Ooh. It's still the 10 of pentacles, though. 10 of diamonds is what I consider the 10 of pentacles here. So this is... Is that right? I believe so. I always have considered the diamonds the pentacles. So I hope so. But um, this is still like a happiness in home, even though because I mean this is a different total, totally different set of cards. So I might feel disappointing energy like from this person, but it's not going to be the way because you're going to be able to have a new family, a new life, a new happiness with them. So it's kind of a weird message. I don't know. But I guess it's that's over. It's the ten. It's a culmination. So if there were bad things that were happening or bad. It's all over, and you're about to enter a new phase, guys. Moving forward with this person. And if I pull the second one, because I just wanted to make sure if I just didn't pull the right thing there, because it just didn't feel negative at all. The bear is a sign of successful speculation. So, yeah, success, happiness, love. You guys are moving forward into a wonderful, loving relationship that is going to be great, guys. Soulmates, kismet, so happy. All right, on to number five. All right, five, how do they feel about you? Sorry, 
now you guys can see all the weird ways that I mix things up. They're bent, so it's really hard to just like shuffle them like other people do really fast. Because unfortunately, people have spilled water on my cards a couple times. Not me, but other people. So they're a little bit bendy. But I like them this way. Number five, how do they feel about you? The Fool. New beginnings. They might think that you are like a carefree, cool person that they might want to start something with. They're interested in you. They find you interesting. It's like the start of it, you know. They are interested. So don't come off as foolish to them. Don't like do anything dumb, guys. Don't do anything too dumb. Unless like they're like a cool hippie person and maybe they're into that. I don't know. Let's get some clarification for the fool for you guys and how their feelings for you. The lovers, yes. Okay, I'm glad this has come up twice. And I don't feel that this is because it's not mixed because I did mix that pretty good right there. So that is really, really nice, guys. Wow. This is soulmates. This is you're on the path to true love here. You're on the path of love. You're starting out on this path of the lovers. So beginning of a new relationship, beginning of love. Whew. Queen of Cups. Maybe with a water sign. Or that it could be also opening your heart and just feeling loved. This could be you. If it isn't that you're getting with this female water sign or a water sign like Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, it could be that this person is um, just making you feel like the Queen of Cups, you know, which is amazing. You feel so loved. You feel like you're loving somebody and they're loving you back in return. And it's just beautiful and equal. And you just feel great. Your heart is open and overflowing. You are so kind this time oh my god guys i couldn't have asked for better two of cups holy cow yes yeah, so this is a soulmate relationship and you guys could be beginning something that's like ultimate attraction at first with this water sign or maybe that they're if you're the water sign they're really attracted to you and they see you as this queen of cups or you see somebody else as like this wonderful loving romantic person that you really want to be with um and just incredible so wonderful incredible intuitive often spirit um maternal almost in some ways they're very like mothering because like water signs are just they're just so loving very extremely romantic and it's like ultimate attraction it's like you see this person it's like bam bam and then it's so quick all of a sudden you guys are in a relationship it's like you start going out so yes you guys are going to get together with this person new beginnings new beginnings with couldn't have asked for a better spread guys look at this it starts with the lovers and the two cups Lo that's that's a soulmate relationship right there you guys you guys have some of you guys on number for who just pulled number five you just found your soulmate oh actually before i put these back because i want their energy still to be here i want to do the witches card here my gypsy witch card for a final message for five beautiful guys absolutely beautiful wow the stork denotes change of residence for the better sooner or later according to the distance from which it lies the person so this is change this is change happening guys changing your relationships maybe even like where you're living you could be moving in with this person they could be offering like they could be proposing to you so if you are already like if you were asking about if you thought number five were asking is this person going to propose to me they are going to propose this is you guys are getting married you are changing residence there's new changes in the air you know planning a marriage um the stork i always think of with pregnancy but, um, I mean, that's wonderful for those of you who are trying. But if you just met this person, that could be kind of scary. Um, but um, it could also just be pregnancy coming in and this person owning up, like, coming to the plate and being like, I love you, you're my soulmate, I want to be with you, let's, I want you to be the mo mother of my children, like, let's do this, like, let's get married. 
and have this kid. So you guys can be getting married and like pregnant. Like you could have found out you're pregnant, it's a new journey, and now you are getting married. Or there's like a renewal of a relationship with the, with the father or the mother. If you're not the mother of it, um, I mean, I don't know. But I don't really see gender in my readings, unless it's like the emperor. <laughs> All right, so number six. A sip of water. Number six, how do they feel about you? All right, afraid to move forward. This person is afraid. They have so much fear-based energy that they're afraid to move forward. They're too afraid to step out and they're too afraid of what will happen. shuffle for it and I do that I'm just dropping them all right so eight of swords let's clarify it for you guys for feelings on the eight of swords for number six let's clarify it knight of cups message of love building a home three of pentacles building something together Communication, number eight. So yes, you are going to get a message. It seems like this person was afraid to move forward. It's like they have, there's a lot of fear here. It's afraid to move forward. And it could be on both sides for you guys, honestly. Um, I'm trying to feel whether it's you that's too afraid. I mean, it's how they feel about you. So I am thinking that they're afraid to move forward. Um, and I do feel like if it's a water sign, though, they're going to come in as your Prince Charming. I do feel like even though they're afraid to move forward, there is this movement right here, right out of it. But I also feel like it could be you coming in with that message of love. So if you feel that this person's never going to step forward, move forward with this, you know, move forward with this Knight of Cups energy, you know, go and tell them how you feel. Go tell them that you love them, that you like them. And if not, if this is a water sign that you're waiting on, yes, they have been, the reason that they haven't reached forward you know, before this, is that they were too afraid. They were so afraid of what would happen. They were afraid they were going to lose you or afraid of being rejected or that you didn't feel the same way, didn't want the same things. And yet they're going to come forward and it's finally going to happen. They're going to tell you that they like you, that they want to date you, come forward as the Knight of Cups, which is the best, honestly. It's the best way to get best message for a relationship and how they feel about your readings. They like you. They're interested. They want to date you. They want to romance you. That's what that is. And they want to build something with you. This is coming forward and being like, I want to build a relationship with you. I want to take you out. I want to get to know you. I want to be with you. Let's get together. And it's like, it's somebody, if you were asking, are they, do they want to move in together? Like, what's the, like if you know that this person likes you, you're in a relationship and you're asking, um, it does feel like you guys are going to start talking about moving in together, about building onto your relationship, maybe having more children, maybe even, um, moving like something to do with housing with, with building something together building your relationship up or maybe that this is what they want from you and they're going to tell you this you know it could be that they want to communicate to you that they that they want to build a love with you they want to build a relationship that this is what they want they're going to tell you like i'm afraid to tell you this but like i want to build something with you and i, I really love like maybe they're going to tell you that they love you and that they see you as somebody that like they could have like this long-term relationship, but it's gonna happen suddenly, it seems like too. It's gonna happen really suddenly. 
you guys could they could be like do you want to move in together at the end of the summer and you could it could just happen really really suddenly number six i am getting that message for some of you so wow incredible guys just incredible um i'm gonna get one last message from the witches uh my gypsy witch card just because i feel like that one is extremely straightforward beautiful beautiful um let's see put those back oh i should have left them out actually it's okay so strong and straightforward i do still feel it i've been all over the place with these with my messages cards at the end of the reading because i've been having issues with my setup here <sighs> the camera thing is like gonna break in a second it's too humid i taped it up please don't make fun of me guys <laughs> message for number six from spirit what do we need to know how do they feel the key wow the second time the key has come up guys the key, um, I'm that in a daily reading. I believe that was in the July 19th daily or July 20th. Um, the key nearby is certain of, um, certain augury of success. So yes, you have the key here. They have the key to your heart. You have the key. It's, or it could be a key to a house, guys. Um, there is key here to moving forward and it's going to be presented to you. It's going to, you know, it's going to be with what's been like, if there's been like a glass door or something that you haven't been able to move past in this relationship, or whatever you want it to be, number six, you're finally gonna get the key to move through it, to open that door, to move forward. So I hope um, you guys resonated with those. I am gonna pull some for number two and three, actually, at the end here, because I realized I forgot and I feel really, really bad. So let's see. Number two, message from spirit. Right, that's the Joker the rules card. I should just take that out, actually. I always leave ink because I always feel weird not putting all the cards in sometimes. I don't know. Woo! Number two. Bouquet of flowers, an absolute indication of long and happy life. If children are nearby, extraordinary honors and fame. Wow, guys. Wow. Long and happy life person you're gonna be happy okay you are gonna have a long happy if you're gonna have a romantically fulfilled life this is romance happiness this is emotional fulfillment throughout your life so you don't have to worry beautiful guys ten of hearts which is like the ten of cups that's incredible okay time for number three how do they feel about you from spirit Get the railroad for casts a long journey or robbery serious accidents so it could be it, you got a long journey it's been a journey or maybe you've been on a journey of, um could also be you know you've been on a long journey and you still got a long ways to go it could have been this thing bad happened that you guys are getting over it um and trying to move forward and it's been a really long journey with this relationship or whoever this person is, whatever you're trying to get over. And it, it, something else could happen where you either end it or you don't end it. You know, you have to decide whether to move forward, start anew, or cut it off. So, beautiful. All right, guys. So, let me know how that resonated below. Check out my monthlies, my dailies, um, my uh, monthly love readings. And let me know how this all resonated with you and what numbers you picked in the comments below. Um give me a like share subscribe sorry it was kind of a mess um this week with how it was all set up it's just been i wanted to try out this new thing for my phone like setting it up because i don't have a camera yet and it's just been a mess so i hope you guys have a great week though and um many blessings on all of you congratulations for those of you who are getting some congratulations at this time and good luck to those of you who are moving forward stay strong